Hi there, my name's Anna, I'm from Lincolnshire and today I am reviewing the Miele Complete C3 Vacuum Cleaner which my friends at AO.com sent over for me to do the review. I have been super surprised by it, it's really powerful. Um, coming from someone that's only ever used upright vacuum cleaners before, I genuinely have been surprised by this. Um, my word, it is powerful, you can really feel the power through the floor head, it really does stick to the floor. I think by the time I've finished all my cleaning I will have muscles like Popeye. Um, having said that, there are five different settings. If I just move my camera down here you'll see um, there's a plus and minus sign and when it's plugged in these are lit up according to which one you've selected. So you've got your curtains and upholstery, uh, this one here is for the cut pile carpets. This is a quieter vacuum, it's less powerful but obviously quieter as a result. Um, this is for the loop carpets or rugs and this one here is for your hard floor. Um, and here on the actual floor head you can toggle between the two for carpets or for hard floor. So we have hard floor all downstairs, we have carpets all upstairs. So it's great really to be able to toggle between the two and use the correct setting for the correct job. Um, like I say, I've been really pleasantly surprised by it. Uh, if I just move my camera up here a little bit, you can see there I have quite a long hose there and a long handle. Um, however, the handle is telescopic, so you can make that smaller if you need to. Um, one thing that I just wanted to point out here is uh, once you've pulled the cord out and you've got it all plugged in, you've finished the job and you've unplugged again you can literally press this comfort button here and it will just rewind the wire and put the plug back into position here for you let me just see if i can pull that out one-handed there it is um so it, that all fits in nice and neatly i'll just press that and it'll click into place um here uh, is where you will find all of the little attachments that it kind of hides under this um hood so you've got a dusting one and a crevice one and upholstery one here and they all just fit in neat and tidy for what as and when you need them and i think that's a great idea because it just mean, means that you're keeping everything together um so that clicks down uh under here this is a little i don't know if you can see there it is there's like a little uh, I don't suppose, well I suppose you'd call it a lever really, uh, that pulls up the main unit and that's where the bag sits, there's a little window in the bag so you can see how full it is when it's ready to be changed and again that just pushes down and clicks into place. Um, there is a handle so if you're carrying it up and down the stairs that makes really light work of it. Um, what I did think was really clever is at the back of the handle here, that if you can see there's a tiny little plastic clip, uh, that's what slides into the back of this unit so you can um, keep the actual floor head and that handle upright so I thought that was a great idea particularly for storage. Um, so. Overall, I've been really impressed with it. Literally the only negative thing that I can find to say about it is that the actual uh, kind of casing here, this kind of plastic casing, has a bit of a static effect, so you get little tiny bits of dust that stick to that. Uh, it doesn't bother me in the slightest, but it might be something that, um, uh, well, let's just say it's something that's worth mentioning because you know, a lot of people might want to actually dust that down every time they have used the vacuum cleaner. Um, so generally speaking, I've been really impressed with it. Um, like I say, it's quite hard to come up with anything negative to say about it. Um, it really is super powerful and, um, you know, when you're doing the vacuuming or cleaning of any type, what's the point of doing it if you're not going to be thorough? I think that's a really good thing to, you know, a good thing about it. Um, so there you go. That's my review. I hope it might help you come to a decision.